welcome to the part two of this video um, if you didn't watch the first part please go back and watch the first part so that you can follow and enjoy the video let's go right in we are going to be looking at daniel chapter 5 from verse 1 right down to verse 31 I'm going to be reading and sharing some of the things that stood out for me. To bring this reading into context, um, the king Belshazzar was the son of Nebuchadnezzar. So verse 1, one night, King Belshazzar invited a thousand noblemen to a great banquet and they drank wine together whilst they were drinking. Belshazzar gave orders to bring in the gold and silver cups and bowls which his father Nebuchadnezzar had carried off from the temple in Jerusalem. The king sent for them so that he, his noblemen, his wives, his concubines could drink out of them. At once the gold cups and bowls were brought in and they all drank wine out of them and praised God's made of gold silver bronze iron wood and stone suddenly a human hand appeared and and began writing on the plaster wall of the palace where the light from the lamps were shining most brightly and the king saw the hand as it was writing he turned pale and was so frightened that his knees began to shake he shouted for someone to bring in the magicians, wizards, and astrologers. When they came in, the king said to them, Anyone who can read this writing and tell me what it meant will be dressed in robes of royal purple, wear a gold chain of honor round his neck, and be the third in power in the kingdom. The royal advisers came forward, but none of them could read the writings or tell the king what it meant. In distress, King Belshazzar grew even paler, and his noblesmen had no idea what to do. Then the queen mother heard the noise made by the king and his noblesmen and entered the banqueting hall. She said, May your majesty leave forever. Please do not be so distressed and look so pale. There is a man in your kingdom who has the spirit of the holy gods in him. When your father was king, this man showed good sense, knowledge, and wisdom like the wisdom of the gods. And King Nebuchadnezzar, your father, made him chief of the fortune tellers, magicians, wizards, and astrologers. He has an unusual ability and is wise and skillful in, in interpreting dreams and solving riddles and explaining mysteries. So, send for this man, Daniel, whom the king named Belteshazzar, and he will tell you what all this means. So Daniel was brought forward and everything was explained to him and how he will be dressed up and be the third in command and everything. This is what Daniel replied in verse 17. Daniel replied, keep your gifts for yourself or give them to someone else. I'll read for you, your majesty, what has been written and tell you what it means. Daniel took the opportunity to lecture him on what happened to his father and how his father finally admitted that the Supreme God controls all human kingdoms and can give them to anyone he chooses. And that was in verse 21. So in verse 22, it says, But you, his son, have not humbled yourself, even though you knew all this. And Daniel told him how he has desecrated the bowls from his temple, from the temple of the Lord, and used them for whatever he wanted. And he did not, by doing so, he did not honor God. And so in verse 24, it reads, that is why God has sent the hand to write these words. This is what was written, number, number, weight, division. And this is what it means, number. God has numbered the days of your kingdom and brought it to an end. Wait, you have been weighed on the scale and found to be too light. Mercy. 
divisions. Your kingdom is divided up and giving to the Medes and Persians immediately. Belshazzar ordered his servants to dress Daniel in a robe of royal purple and to hang a gold chain of honor around his neck. And he made him the third in power in the kingdom that same night. Belshazzar, the king of Babylonia, was killed. And Darius, the Medes, who was then 20, 62 years old, seized the royal power. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Wow, what a story. There's so much to learn from this story, especially to be able to transfer and to teach the next generation who our God is so that they don't make the same mistakes and cut our lineage. Yes, that is one powerful lesson. I'll be expecting to hear from you and know what you also learned from this reading. God bless you and see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye. Changes your mind, no.